Hey there, Fight here with a demo or review of Usign. So Usign is a new tool for creating all kinds of graphics and I'm going to give you an example here so you get an idea of what you can do with Usign. You can create your phone, Facebook covers, infographics, flyers, business cards, YouTube channel art, ebook covers, Twitter covers, headers, Kindle covers, video covers, you know, overlays for your videos and of course you know you can start with a blank canvas and just to give you an idea, so for example infographics, if we look at and here's some templates uh, which you can use as a starting point. Lots and lots of cool stuff in there. And the one I thing I wanted to just test out quickly was the video lower thirds. Now, if we click on here, all kinds of uh, video templates you can use. And there is, you know, this this is, as usual, the good, the bad, and the ugly review. So <coughs> there are absolutely lovely templates in there. They have one drawback, though. And that is they are set to the size of 640 by 360. Uh, actually, uh, I might be lying. I've only tri uh, tried this one here. So let's, just for kicks, try this one here. You know, why not use a ship as a template? This should not distract, by the way, from the, the whole editor. The whole thing is absolutely fabulous. It's such a great tool for quickly uh, you know, knocking out really good looking graphics. So, you know, whatever, fight, demo, demo. One, two, three, four, five. I can't even type anymore. There you go. It is, after all, the day after Shrove Tuesday. So, this is basically now the can canvas. Uh, we can go down here and zoom in, zoom out. And when you go bigger than the, the thing, which is useful for, for example, the infographics, okay, then this thing down here tells you where you are and you can move around. So, that's very well done. Uh, and now if we look at the size, yeah, it's 640, 360. So that is the only drawback I've found that basically the ready-made templates for the videos are fixed to 640 by 360. So in this case, although you can you know, go on here and say, look, I want to set this to a custom size, say, you know, I want, I want 720p, 1280 by 720. Now you think your thing is 1280 by 720, but it's not. When you export a ready-made template, no matter what you do with the size, it's still at the, uh, you know, whatever, the th 640 by 360. But that should not stop us from getting really excited. So I'm, what I'm, instead, what I'm going to show you, that basically I've now shown you the ugly part, okay? It's not really ugly, it's only the, the video templates are uh, at a certain size. So, uh, by the way, I'm going to kind of hidden them up and saying, look, guys, uh, <laughs> we've moved on since 640, uh, please... Uh, let's have some bigger ones. So, you know, here's the user interface, hover over, this is what you can do. So, we're going to delete this demo 13245. And instead, we're getting, uh, we're getting, we're getting more pancakes. No, what we're going to do is look at this one here. So, this is one I created earlier. <coughs> I'm not going to run through the entire process. I'm just going to show you uh, what I've done here. Basically, over here, you've got the different categories of stuff you can, you know, this is when you create a blank or start from a blank template. So what I've done is I've um, picked some text here. Uh, I've created some some shapes and you can move them around. It's like, okay, you know, or I'd like to have this bigger or smaller, or I would like to rotate it, or, you know, let's make this a little bit bigger. It doesn't even have to be entirely on the screen, which is pretty cool. So what we can do is make this a slightly different shade of gray. So we make it a more you know, sort of reddish something. And we reduce the opacity of this thing down to whatever, 11%. And we move it over here and now increase it a bit in this direction. So it points kind of down here. Cool. So what we're going to do is use this as an overlay for the um, the end video. So the same goes for these stars. You know, they're all independent. It's basically little elements you pull down here from elements. So just to give you an example, here are the different elements. Uh, here are arrows. Oh, sorry, those are uh, shapes I used. Okay, here are different shapes. And these are basically shapes, and you can use them in any style you like. So this is going to be the picture I want to overlay over the final video. And I've decided the text is too small. Okay, so what I need to do is basically uh, grab this and say my text. Instead of being 72 pixels, I'm going to go for whatever, 102. Uh, okay, and then I need to make this obviously a little bit bigger this week only. Now, of course, the rest now uh, is in the way. So, ooh, help, no, that's not what we want to do. Undo. This is very cool. This is the first tool ever I've seen that does something as complex as this, where you can do undo. Yeah, Control Z, and it's undone. 
it, apparently, you know, talking to tons of programmers, that's very, very hard to do, and they've managed to pull it off. So very cool. I'm impressed. So that's the text, and it's basically overlaid over a box. So this kind of box here, that's the, the background behind it. So uh, now we need to basically make this box behind my text a little bit bigger. Now, there are two different ways of doing this. I could either move them around. So move, move my text to the back like this. Now that text box is on top of it. Now I move it over here. So now it's uh, adjusted again. And now I move that to the back. Woo, there you go. Otherwise, I could just move this to the side and you know, do the adjustment there. Pretty happy with me, uh, with me. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with me. Yes, I'm pretty happy with me. I'm pretty happy with this thing here. Actually, why don't we go all crazy? Da, 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 da. Less than 40 bucks. There you go. Okay. Um, there you go. That's except we need to move that to the back here, the brown box. Otherwise, it's overlaying that only. So to the back it goes. No, sorry. I've moved the wrong thing to the back. This one here needs to go to the back. There you go. And is it in the back? No, it needs to go two steps in the back. So there you go. Boop. Now it's in the back. Cool. And special offer. That's all cool. And maybe the arrow a little bit more stretched out like this. Cool. So happy with all of that. Ooh, what have I done now? I've moved my text. Sorry. Don't know what happened there. I probably was still selected as I was moving things. There you go. Yeah, you can always you know, do select multiple things and move them or, or copy them, make them bigger, etc., etc. So all I'm going to do now is basically save. Save. Yes, save, save, save. And then what I'm going to do is export it. Uh, yes, cool. Uh, download. And I'm going to use this U sign number 9 on my desktop. And basically all I'm going to do now is basically pull this thing. And this is basically what you see as the background color. Okay, that is, um, as you can see here, none. Okay. I could set that to, oh, sorry, it's not. Now it's set to none. So I need to save it again, export it. Otherwise, this would be a solid, uh, ugh, horrible color. Uh, you can choose, you know, pattern gradient, etc. But none is basically it's transparent. And now I can overlay that over a video. And with a bit of, you know, magic, I'm going to export it now. It should appear at the bottom of this video. So high level summary is, uh, I'm very impressed. This is uh, super easy to use. My, I do have Photoshop. And it is so much easier to use this here than it is to use Photoshop. Just export the whole thing. You've got your nice little PNG. Uh, very, very impressed. And the pricing is, you know, if you were to buy the, the Photoshop these days, it's like, I can't believe it. I checked it earlier just to, to check. Um, Adobe Charge is $9.99 per month for just Photoshop. If you don't want any anything else, $9.99. So, you know, in four months, you've got, uh, you've recouped your investment. But uh, in Europe, it's 11 whatever we've got here euros uh, instead of dollars 11 euro 39 so which which is like 14 15 dollars hang on <laughs> surely this is an electronic product it should be the same price but no it isn't all right cool so all in all very very impressed i'm just gonna export this again uh use sign number 10 whatever and this was obviously just one example. This was uh, gonna overlaying a 1280 by 720 thing um the only drawback I can see is in the templates. The The video templates are at 640 by 360 at the moment, which isn't a biggie. I mean, all the other templates are absolutely lovely. They're the correct size for Facebook. They're the correct size for YouTube channels. They're awesome for the infographics. All in all, very, very impressed. And I'm actually going to buy my own copy. Um, this here is a demo review account, and I'm going to buy my own copy. Alrighty, cheers. Bye.